Ah yes, Clash of Clans. The unhackable game. The game that you cannot hack no matter how hard you try. Or can you? Yo, what's going on guys? Have a now. Back. Today we're going to be talking about some of the few times Clash of Clans has been successfully hacked. And yeah, Clash of Clans is an incredibly hard game to hack, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. So we're going to be reviewing some incidents in Clash of Clans that should have never happened. So let's get right into it. Let's do this. Thousands of giants. As we said, Clash of Clans is pretty much unhackable for the most part. I mean, sure, there's been third party tools that have been floating around for a few years, but those tools don't modify the game's code. They're simply tools. But they can also get you banned, so don't try them. There are also private servers which rips the game from its live server and puts it into its own. In order to get access into the game and the live server, you'd have to hack into that server, and that is the reason why hacking Clash of Clans is like an impossible task. But shit happens. In August of 2015, a user named Obid Khan, I believe, managed to hack into the main server of Clash of Clans and do things you normally can't do. I covered this story when this happened six years ago, but pretty much, people started to report that they were being attacked by a guy using thousands of one troop, specifically thousands of giants. He literally went around three-starring some people having the best time of his life and not giving a single damn. It was crazy at the time seeing someone actually hack the game and it's still mind blowing to this day. But also, it's kind of funny, <laughs> not gonna lie. Eventually Supercell banned the player and had a maintenance break I believe and we never heard from it again. In fact, when I tried to find this original post that I showcased in that old video, it was nowhere to be found. The only reason I even remembered about this event is because I so happen to be scrolling through my old videos. Yes, I do that every once in a while, just for nostalgic purposes. And yeah, I came across this one. So yeah, this was crazy. No one knows how he did it, and we'll probably never know. Strange Base In November of 2015, an interesting base was discovered, and it was pretty obvious this was no ordinary base. In a clan called the Revenge Clan, a player by the name Arl seemed to have a few things wrong with his base. First off, and probably the most obvious, he had some obstacles that he shouldn't have had. Yes, obstacles that only appear in goblin maps. How did he get those? Perhaps you may be convinced that these used to spawn in the old days, and this guy so happened to be one of those first players. No. The pole with the horns and the pointy stone only ever appeared in goblin maps. When clicking on the pole, you could even see the code name that clearly mentioned Goblin Pole. But other than these obstacles, there is a lot more going on with this base. He had no clan castle. You know, <laughs> that's funny because he's a leader of the clan that he's in right now. How is that possible? He didn't have a clan castle, so this shouldn't be happening. Now he may have sold the clan castle when it was possible, yes, I know, that was possible at one point, but when you sold your clan castle, you would automatically be kicked from your clan. He definitely wouldn't still be a leader years later. The base also had no camps, no builders, more defenses and walls than he could even build, and defense levels that were way too high in level for his town hall. Now a few days later, after this was brought to Supercell's attention, they did end up fixing the base. Which confirms this wasn't a normal base at all. After the fix, the goblin map obstacles were gone, all of his buildings were back, uh, and his levels, they, they were all back to normal, you know, just an ordinary base. It isn't very clear what happened here, but there was a post that mentioned the base was raided by goblins, and it turned into their own village, and Supercell had to go fix it. But that story just seems ridiculous. Like, come on. <laughs> it seems like someone took it out of a book and just like, yeah, the goblins raided this village and they made it their own come on it's a game you would have to code that in for that to be possible what probably and most likely happened is this guy found a way to 
import some of the obstacles from the goblin bases into his own base and managed to remove some of the most important buildings and also add stuff that he could into his own base. A lot of people may pass it off as just a good old glitch, but come on, things like this just don't happen out of nowhere. Server Error I actually mentioned this in a previous video, but I wanted to discuss it again because the video I mentioned it was a top glitch video of all time. And this one was no glitch. Before we discuss it in detail though, I wanted to let you guys know that this bug has existed forever, and people still do receive this server error from time to time. But this occasion was very different. So if you see a server error of some kind while attacking, you know, clean and server are out of sync, blah blah, it's probably your Wi-Fi, a sudden bug, or a genuine problem with the server. Reloading the game should fix the issue. Now, let's get into the real topic of discussion here. It was around late 2014 or early 2015. I was in the leaderboards at the time. No, I'm not trying to brag. This is just a very important detail of the hack that occurred. I'm telling it from my own perspective. At the time, players in the leaderboards were experiencing what they thought was just a bug, but it was making them lose tons of trophies, which was a serious issue. Basically, every time me or anyone in my clan or anyone in neighboring clans tried to attack, the second they dropped a troop, the game would display a clean and server or out of sync error. But this was no error. It was bigger than that. Every time you'd attack, the same thing would happen, and this would happen over and over. But it seemed to happen only when attacking certain bases. And since the leaderboards at the time was incredibly different, you would commonly attack the same people multiple times over the course of your entire time up there. Someone had managed to mess with their base somehow and exploit it to win endless trophies and defenses and then share this exploit with their clanmates or friends. And sooner or later, there was a select group of players that when you attacked them, you would get this error and lost trophies. Eventually, Supercell got involved and the matter was resolved within a day of the breach. To this day, this is one of the craziest things I got to experience firsthand. And every time I retell this story, people say, yeah, I mean, I get that error all the time. It's no big deal. But no. Like I said, this was incredibly different. What we were experiencing was the greatest hack to the Clash of Clans leaderboards in history. Layering buildings. Okay, we've seen glitches where two buildings stack on top of each other and it makes up for a great screenshot you share with your friends. But this one is different. Well, not really, but it's a more extreme version of that. In November of 2020, a YouTuber by the name Clash with Corey encountered a rather strange base. At first glance, the defense replay looks normal and hey, it's free loot, right? In order to get trophies though, Corey decided to attack the town hall, but there was something off. The Inferno Tower and the Builder Hut looked weird. Yes, they were stacked on top of multiple buildings. And no, not just two, this time it was up to six buildings in one spot. Whoa! When Corey tried to take out the Inferno Tower, there was actually a Tesla plus three more buildings behind it. And when he focused on the Builder Hut, there was six Builder Huts. Like, all of his Builder Huts, including one Tesla in that one spot. To add more depth to this bizarre encounter, the guy's name was Hacker is Back implying that, hey, I'm back. Now, as I mentioned, this happened months ago and his account has been deleted. As you guys know, Supercell just doesn't go around deleting people's accounts. If there's an issue with your name, they'll ask you to change the name. If there's an issue with the base you have set up, like you made something bad, well, they'll just ask you to change it or ban you for about a week or I don't know. If you did something wrong, you might get banned for life, but they won't delete your account. It isn't until account goes missing until you realize something even bigger is going on here. It looks like Hacker is Back was indeed a hacker and managed to mess around with the game's code in a live server to do the impossible. As I mentioned, two buildings stacked on top of each other happens every now and then, and it's usually just a small glitch or a bug. But this one was a very different scenario, and it's crazy how he managed to achieve this. The only reason his account was removed was due to reports about the base having some interesting features. Security Breach 
Now this last one isn't based on the game getting hacked, but rather the company Supercell itself. But it did have some connections to Clash of Clans directly, so I wanted to briefly mention this one. On February of 2014, a Syrian hacker claimed to have hacked into Supercell's Facebook pages and administrator panels specifically for Clash of Clans. He had gained access to very private information of the company. He explained that this hack was to teach Supercell a lesson, but why? Well, the hacker apparently found a weak spot and tried to give them advice on their own security. But after multiple employees and even the CEO of Supercell did not respond, he went ahead and hacked them. The information he managed to snag was of course access to their social medias and personal contact info, but also revenue numbers. Those numbers explained that Clash of Clans had 29.4 million daily active users on February 7 of 2014, and that they had ranked in an incredible 5.15 million dollars that day alone for Clash of Clans. Now the hacker denied to explain how he hacked them, but after a few days of the incident, Supercell ended up posting about it on their social medias, confirming that they were indeed hacked. Now something similar like this happened a few times over the years as well, but those were for the Clash of Clans forums not for the company or the game itself. It's a bit too unrelated to the game, so I'm just gonna leave that out of the video, but yeah. So guys, that is the five times Clash of Clans has been hacked. And yes, it's very unfortunate that it's only five times. Well, I mean, I guess it's not unfortunate, but you know what I mean. I'm like, I wish this video could be longer, but fortunately, Clash of Clans rarely ever gets hacked. It's great to know that the game we play every day is pretty much unhackable. I mean, we put in hours and money into the game in hopes that what we're doing has a meaning. When a game gets hacked and people have an advantage over you, it doesn't feel like a challenge anymore. It doesn't feel worth it anymore. Supercell has worked very hard to keep it that way and yeah. Obviously, they've had some hiccups along the way, but fortunately, that's only been about four or five times. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.